Welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 1378. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book but you need some help getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc., I-N-K, like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 21 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Picture a man in charge of weapons for a medieval king. If he is scientific-minded, he will try to improve his bows and arrows by working on different parts of the product. The searcher may be assigned to study the properties of feathers. He will try to improve the breed of birds, study feather selection and storage, investigate whether they should be trimmed one half or three quarters inch wide, and so on. This man will conduct what many call scientific research for years. He may achieve many improvements, giving arrows better stability and accuracy, but what is the chance that such a man will ever invent a gun? If he should hear about one, the chances are he will do his best to point out how unstable and dangerous it is to carry a powder horn, how inaccurate the new guns are, and how many families depend for their livelihood on the chicken feather business. And that extended quote is from authors George Steele and Paul Kircher from their 1960 book, The Crisis We Face, Automation and the Cold War. And once again, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. And on that note, with that story that I just read, welcome to part eight of my AI and authors series. As always, remember to check the show notes for links to the other installments, as well as other various resources and articles and source material that I post there each week as we move forward into this newest innovation cycle in history that will, like all the cycles before it, impact us as creatives. The goal of my series is not to induce panic or fear or to be blindly or extremist pro or anti-AI, but rather it is to examine the reality of AI and authors, see what we need to do to AI-proof ourselves, and look for potential opportunities to supplement our existing productivity so we have more time to dream up creative awesomeness. So today let's explore the question of whether all these AI tools like ChatGPT, and now Bard from Google will make us, I don't know, intellectually lazy and uncreative and maybe make us forget how to think on our own. Like I forget how to finish sentences sometimes <laughs> because it's true that these AI tools are easy to access at no or low cost and becoming more ubiquitous by the day. Similar to the internet, access doesn't seem to be an issue. Therefore, as authors and creatives, how can we find the sweet spot between suspicion or outright rejection and overly depending on them and handing over all of ourselves, all of our tasks to AIs? As always, I think the solution is in the gray area. Remember when the printing press came along, the successful orators at the time expressed vocal concerns and loudly that with printed words, humans would no longer be forced to carry around tons of knowledge in their brains. As a result, we'd become stupid. Of course, I'm paraphrasing how they said that. Well, obviously that prediction was incorrect. Then flash forward to computers and then the internet and similar choruses of technology will make us dumb. Here's a quote by Marianne Wolf, cognitive neuroscientist. The Google generation with its instant gratification lives in a world of instant answers and little reflection. They don't read, they skim. They don't study, they browse. And here's another quote from historian and philosopher Yuval Noah Harari. The easy access to vast amounts of information has not made us wiser or more intelligent. Instead, it has drowned us in irrelevant or erroneous information, robbing us of the ability to think critically and make sound decisions. Now, ChatGPT, which was nice enough to find those quotes for me when Google failed the task, also added this comment after the quotes, and I quote, It's worth noting that while these concerns are valid, many experts also argue that computers and technology can enhance our intelligence and cognitive abilities if used in the right way. 
There is ChatGPT giving itself a shout out. That's a different conversation for another day. But anyway, I think the overall sentiment is accurate and can be applied to vehicles like television and social media as well. I mean, anything can make us lazy and dumb, so to speak, depending on A, how we choose to use it. B, how how self-aware we are about why, for how long, and with which boundaries we engage with technology. And C, our understanding of the benefits, risks, and limitations of each type of technology. These are questions we've had to ask ourselves individually over the years about computers, the internet, and social media, and now we get to ask those same questions about AI, remembering that technology is designed to be a tool, not a way of life or a controlling piece of our personal identities. Nothing can make us lazy or cause us to forget how to think on our own. Those are both personal choices and personal boundary-related scenarios. This is a good time to ask yourselves questions, ask all of ourselves questions about, about technology and your relationship with it, and to draw boundaries around your technology identity. Make a list of all the tech tools you use regularly. Can you clearly articulate a purpose for each one? What rules or boundaries do you have set around each one? For instance, maybe some live on your computer like mine do, or some live on your phone, or some live in both places, but do you know why? Are you consciously aware of your rules, or has your tech situation snowballed more from convenience and access than a fun distraction? I'll let you figure out any other questions you need to ask yourselves. Because with AI, I think we're going to see a faster rollout of tools than in any other previous iteration of technology. Remember, you are in charge of you. You make the rules about each tool. It's your job to be aware of what you're using, when, and why. Technology in itself cannot make us lazy or stupid. We're the only ones that can do that to ourselves. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Remember to check the show notes. Until tomorrow, happy writing.